Hello everybody, welcome back to Sports Federation TV. If you've uh, just joined us, uh, well, we talk about sport in the Western Cape. And for those of you that have been watching, uh, you'll know that we just spoke about climbing. Uh, managed to get a copy there from Tony Lawrence um, of SA Mountain Magazine. Do yourself a favor, go and get the SA Mountain Magazine at uh, some of the leading, um, well, magazine retail stores. Fant some fantastic pictures in here. Just looking at what looks like it's a poster inside a cave. All right, so SA Mountain Magazine. So it's great to know that these uh, sports are being covered. All right, folks, it's time for us to now talk about what's happening in the world of diving. And joining me now for the first time, I've got two youngsters on the show with me, Jenna Douglas and Jacob Goodman, and they are keen divers. Hello, Jenna. How are you? Hi, I'm good, and you? Not too bad, not too bad. And, of course, Jacob. Hello, Jacob. How are you? Good, thanks, and you? Not too bad. Is this your first time on TV? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay, don't you make home TV at home? No. All right, okay. Uh, Jenna, let's start with you. Um, how long have you been diving? I've been diving since about the age of six years old, so I started pretty young, which was really? a good thing, yeah. And yourself, uh, Jacob? I've been diving for around one and a half years. A year and a half already? Yeah. I believe we've got a video clip of, of you diving. We're going to take a look at it. And how did you get into diving? When was the first time mom took you diving? Well, it all started off with me at my house. We have a big rock that we jump off into the pool. And my mom said, if you're going to do this, you're going to learn how to do it properly. So she suggested to us if we want to go to diving. And I said, yes. Is that how it started? <laughs> yeah. You were jumping off the rock into the, into the pool at home. Yeah. And mom said, no, this can't be right. Can't yeah. be safe. So we're going to do proper diving. Yeah. So how high do you dive off when you go diving and swimming? Maximum five meters. Five meters? That's higher than my house. <laughs> yeah, and you, and you do that comfortably. So you, you're not a, you're not afraid of heights, obviously. No. No, no problem there. Yeah. All right. And Jenna, you're yourself, uh, the different. I mean, I talk to you about the different types of boards and things. Uh, you know, because when we see these things on TV, we see people walking backwards off their toes and <laughs> and all sorts of stuff. What are what are your sort of heights and jumping boards? How does it work? Um, so we have the one meter and the three meter springboard, which. Um, I dive off usually. I used to also do five meter, yeah. and I might do it in the future also. But mainly the one meter and three meter springboards is what so we do. So why do you jump off a lower height than Jacob? He also does those. Yeah. Um, he what just does that? more five meter than I would. So that's yeah. your sort of speciality, is one yeah. Two. And Jacob, your speciality is five meters. Yeah. <laughs> now, how many times a week do you go diving practice? Sometimes, mostly three to four times a week. Yeah. And how, how long is your practice sessions at a time? One to two hours each time. Two hours of diving? Yeah. And so you dive in the water, then you get out the pool, and you walk all the way back, and you dive back in the water? Yeah. And you keep doing that again and again? Yeah. Doesn't that get boring? No. No. You keep doing You're happy to do it? Yeah. yeah. It's always right. different. So it's always different? Why yeah. do you say it's always different? Well, there's so many different dives to do. Yeah. So, um, you never, every time you come back on the board, you're always trying to improve something and okay. you're thinking of something more or something different. What so, kind of yeah. things do you think about, Jacob, while you're diving? It's fun. <laughs> yeah. Have you got a coach? Yeah. And the coach is telling you, look at how your feet are, your hands are, your body's moving. What is he talking to you about? About often the, what you look like in the air and your entrance to the water. All oh, right. Of course, the entrance of the water is the big thing that the judges look for. Yeah. All right. And, and, and when you're diving, do you dive head first or with your feet first? Depends. If you're going to, like, do something new, like, if you're going to do, like, something with a half, like a one and a half or two and a half, you're going to go in with your hands. And if you're just doing, like, a forward double or a forward triple, then you're going to go in with your feet. What is a one and a half and a quarter and a double half and all that? I, 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 you lost me there. A one and a half. I was never good at maths. A one and a half is like a somersault and then you dive in. Okay. Onto so your so head. Somersault. Yeah. So you start on your feet and you somersault and then you go down feet first. Yeah. No, head first. Head, head, first. First. head first. So usually yeah, you, compete, no you okay. compete going in head first, but if you're learning new dives, you might go feet first. All right. Okay. But um, you don't really go feet first or three meters especially. Because um, that's, that's like a that can be fun. quite dangerous because um, it's much more difficult to control it right. than you can go. Okay, okay. More, yeah. so we, apparently, we've got a little video clip here. Do we have a video clip of, of, of Jacob? Let's take a look here, Jacob, of uh, some footage of you diving. Well, 
uh, Jacob, let's just talk a little bit about what we saw in that video over there. You're diving. Uh, where was that, by the way? That was Kings Park Pool in Durban. In Durban. Uh, are there any good divers in Durban? Yeah. A couple. Huh? A couple. So what, were you were you competing there in the South African Championships? Yes. All right. Now, just tell me about that dive that you were doing. Was that uh, what you call a double? It's called a reverse dive. It's when you're standing forward on yeah. the board and you like jump out, and then you like um, lean your head back and. You gotta tuck tuck your head in. No, tuck you your head go, forward. No, you like yeah, you this. rotate oh, yeah. backwards. You rotate backwards and you dive in. All right. So and you call that what a half double? A reverse dive. A reverse dive. Just but you're dive. not walking backwards because I see some divers they walk backwards and then they jump in the water. Yeah. All right, but that's when you're going forward. Yeah. All right. So when you're doing it, when you're walking backwards, is it called a forward dive? A back dive. <laughs> but why is the forward one then called a reverse dive? It's, it's so like you get a backwards forward. forward one. It's like for forward you can get like a forward dive. So this is like driving on the wrong side of the road. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jenna, yourself, you also competed at SA Champs. Yes, I did. All right. How was the competition? It went very well. Yeah. I um, I won pretty much all my competitions. So that included one meter and three meter in my age group, um, the RSA Cup, which is an open competition, and the synchronized diving where you have a partner. And open competition? Is that open to different age groups? Yeah, or open to all the age groups. Really? So you're um, competing against the best in the country and you... Yeah. Unf unfortunately, there were a few girls who were in America who yeah. couldn't make that competition, but... Yeah, it was everyone who was currently in the country. And you, Jacob, how many disciplines did you take part in? I took part in four competitions. Yeah. I mostly won all of them. So you, you won a whole bunch of gold medals at the South African Championships? Yes. All right, so you guys are like the best in the province. <laughs> yeah. The best in the country? Yeah. All right, when is your next competition? March. March, and where is that going to be? At the Seapoint Pool. Seapoint Pool? All yeah, right. we'll have our Western Province champs. Is that the Western Province champs? Oh, how many divers do you think will be at that competition? Um, so I think quite a few people diving. Yeah, there I mean are a few, but they're not a whole lot in, Western, in w the yeah. Western Province compared to like Gauteng. Yeah. But um, there'll, be a, there'll be about six or so. I'm not so sure. So other than the Western Province champs, what else is in the cards this year? Um, well, there'll be the um, Senior Nationals, which yeah. I'll go to in April, um, which will be held in Joburg. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. So Late in the year, but a bit of a calendar, um, I think. Yeah. And 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 you, Jacob, you got a couple of you got your eyes eyes set on a couple of competitions this year. Yeah. Uh, and you're working hard for it. Yeah. All right. And so you and your brother are going to compete again in the synchronized activity. Yes. All right. And you guys took take took a gold medal there as well. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're going to leave it at that. Best of luck. Um, you guys uh, are certainly flying the flag for athletes in the Western Cup. We keep saying, where are our, our athletes? And, and yeah, they are right with us. So Jenna, well done. Congratulations. Uh, South African champ. It's been fantastic chatting with you. And Thank you. Yeah, we're looking forward to your progress. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Bye. Jacob, and to you as well, and your brother. Thank you. Um, we're going to hopefully get you back on the show when you have even more medals. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, uh, diving. Uh, who would have known? Well, well, we all should have known, in fact, all these divers out there forming part of um, uh, Aquatics Western Cape doing fantastic. So, yeah, guys, well done, and it's been fantastic chatting with you. When we come back from the break, we'll still be talking about what's happening in the world of tug of war, and we'll speak to Wayne Waits, the general manager of the Western Cape High Performance Academy here in, um, in, in Cape Town. Back in a sec.